Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Crafting and Crime Daily. I'm your host, Rebecca, and I recap live trials. So you have something to listen to while you're crafting. Trying recording a little bit differently today. I hope it turns out okay. So currently covering the case of oh, Hannah Gutierrez Reed. She was on trial for involuntary manslaughter in the state of New Mexico, stemming out of the shooting that came off on the set of the Rust movie that was being Produced by Alec Baldwin, who was also the lead actor um, on October 21st, 2022, 2020, 2021, apologize. Uh, he accidentally discharged his weapon and it killed Helena Hutchins, the cinematographer. So yesterday we had the final day of trial, day 10, and, or was it nine? Nine. Day nine? Day nine. <laughs> In any case, the armor's uh, defense rested after putting on a very brief expert witness. And I, he did say that uh, it was his opinion that, unfortunately, if the, if the armor is, you know, if there's a gun on the set, the armor needs to be present. We know she wasn't present when that shooting occurred. But also he, he said that if, you know, if they don't call her in to, when they begin shooting, uh, you know, that's on them, not her. <laughs> anyway, so the jury came back with a verdict. They, we had closing arguments, which were pretty brief. Uh, and the, the prosecution actually walked very carefully through a timeline, which I, I thought was very, very effective. She walked through the timeline of, you know, when the shells, the blanks and the dummies came onto the set and up until the time of the shooting. So the jury deliberated about two hours, uh, came back with a verdict around 4 p.m. yesterday, 4 p.m. their time in New Mexico. And I'm going to play that verdict for you. And I do keep the camera rolling. Now, if you look behind Hannah Gutierrez Reed, you will see her mother back there. So I'm going to go ahead and play that for you. I said, ladies and ladies and gentlemen of the jury, through the four person, have you reached a verdict? Yes. All right. And do you wish to read the verdicts? Sure. Okay. I would start with uh, count one. Okay. Will the defendant please stand? Thank you. 
guilty of involuntary manslaughter as charged in count one. We find the defendant, Anna Gutierrez, not guilty of tampering with evidence as charged in count two. All right, thank you, Mandy. So you can let me get those forms, retrieve those forms from you. I'm going to do what's called polling the jury. What I need to put on the record is that this is your individual verdict, okay? So I'm going to start with the gentleman in the back. Is this your uh, verdict? Yes. Ma'am, is this your verdict? Sir, is this your verdict? Yes. 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 Ma'am, is this your verdict? Yes. Ma'am, is this your verdict? Yes. Ma'am, is this your verdict? Ma'am, is this your verdict? Yes. Ma'am, is this your verdict? Okay, thank you. All right, so you've completed your service. Um, thank you so much for um, being here. It was a, it was a long uh, trial. Uh, people may want to talk to you. Um, you know, this has been pretty much a lot of publicity, and you don't have to, okay? So you can just simply say, do not, do not wish to talk and move on, and if anybody bothers you, we really try to protect your privacy. If anybody bothers you, simply call um, uh, my division, and, um, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, figure out what to do. But you also may talk, okay? So it's entirely up to you, okay? Um, all right, so uh, I, I, you can escort them out. Um, thank you. All right. Is there anything that the uh, state is requesting based upon the uh, verdict? Uh, we would request that Ms. Gutierrez be taken into custody. Mr. Foles? Your Honor, we would request uh, under the rule, Your Honor.
sorry. So that was the uh, the verdict guilty of involuntary manslaughter. For that, she can be sentenced to up to 15 years in jail. Um, 15 years. What am I talking about? 18 months. 18 months in jail and also not guilty on the tampering with evidence charge. That had to do with uh, this woman who has a recovering cocaine addict for 30 years said um, that Hannah handed her a bag of cocaine to hold for her um, and then she threw it away but she wasn't sure if it was cocaine it could have been meth it could have been could have been powder sugar who knows um, and it wasn't even on the set it was at her hotel room so what that had to do with you know this case I I, I don't know so and I, I feel the jury probably wasn't buying that either. So that's why they're not guilty on that. So she, when she's sentenced, it will probably be up to 18 months in jail. And I get the sense from this judge, since it is a death case, that she will, she will sentence her to the 18 months. But, you know, there's gain time. She'll, she may get out early and she's got, you know, family support from her mom and her dad. That was her mom in the white sweater that you saw. So that is today. That concludes the Rust case. Now today, the James Crumley case started. They have seated a jury. They've had opening statements. So I'm going to listen to that. And I will have a recap of the first day of testimony for you tomorrow in the James Crumley case. That's a case that stems out of the Oxford school shooting. As you recall, not very long ago, um, Jennifer Crumley, his wife was convicted of manslaughter um, for the school shooting that their son did. And he's in a little bit more hot water than she is because he bought her, he bought him the gun. So um, that killed four people and injured many other people. And I believe taking the stand today will be one of the surviving victims. So it's going to be a little, um, a little dramatic. I will bring you the highlights of that tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. And I will see you in Crafting and Crime Daily tomorrow. Bye.